Armando Hasurigan, Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasurigan. In this video, we're going to talk about antibodies. Antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, are secreted by B cells, uh, plasma cells specifically in the bloodstream and into the tissues. Basically, antibodies are to control and stop pathogens and to assist in an immune response. Antibodies, or immunoglobulins, are generally Y-shaped. What's really important to know is that antibodies here, if we zoom in, contain a variable region, or FAB region, and a constant region, or the FC region. As the name suggests, constant region stays the same, and the variable region uh, can be different. This antibody here is a single antibody. However, there are also antibodies that actually fall, function and form multiple antibodies, such as a pentamer shape. Pentamer as in five antibodies, which is made up of IgM antibodies. And there's also a dimer form, meaning two antibodies, made up of IgA antibodies. And we'll learn about the different types of antibodies, IgM and IgA, later on. So going back to the bloodstream, we can have uh, IgA secreting B cells or plasma cells, and they will essentially secrete IgA in a dimeric form here. So in, this is a dimeric um, IgA. Of course, there are other antibodies that are only a monomer. They're only a single antibody. So let's zoom again into this monomer and learn a bit more about the shape. Let's have a closer look. Because antibodies are protein, antibodies have a terminal with a termination ending in an amine group and then a C-terminal termination with a carboxyl group at the other end. And also remember about antibodies, this region here is the variable region, which will bind onto antigens, which will bind onto molecules of a pathogen. Now the variable region is also known as the FAB portion of the antibody. And then on the bottom bit, you have the constant region. And the constant region will determine what isotope the antibody is. Isotope meaning what class the antibody will be in. And we'll learn about the different classes, the different isotopes later. The constant region is also known as the FC portion of the antibody. Try to remember these terminologies. So again, we're going to zoom into the same antibody here. It will be exactly the same as the one on the left, but we'll look at different components of it. So the immunoglobulins, which is the antibody, exists as four chains held together by disulfide bonds. So this here, this is the disulfide bonds. And because the immunoglobulin, the antibody, exists as four chains, it's made up of two heavy chains and two light chains. The two heavy chains here um, are, have, has a mass of about 53 kilodaltons each. And the two light chains here, they have a mass of about 22 kilodaltons each. So as you can see from the diagram on the, the antibody on the right and on the left, um, you can basically say that the heavy chain is the same as the constant region because the bottom parts are the same. So um, it, the heavy chain can also determine the isotope of the immunoglobulin, the class of the immunoglobulin. And remember, when I mean immunoglobulin, I basically mean antibody. And now you might think there are millions of classes but there are actually five immunoglobulin classes. These are IgM, IgD, IgG, IgE, and IgA. And they have distinct, dif they have differences, obviously. Um, they can also be designated a Greek symbol based on what class they are. 
which is mu for IgM, delta for IgD, gamma for IgG, epsilon for IgE, and alpha for IgA. And again, because I mentioned earlier, the heavy chain is within the constant region, we can safely say that the heavy chain also determines what isotope or what class the immunoglobulin will be in. So that was for the heavy chain and the constant region. What about the light chain? Well, the light chains of the antibody can either be kappa or lambda, because these are the only genes involved in basically making the light chain. So light chains, kappa and lambda. So just a quick test, test, sorry. If this antibody were kappa gamma, what is it? Like what class of antibody is it? Well, kappa will imply the light chain is kappa. And the constant region or heavy chain is IgG. Because IgG, if you remember, is designated the Greek symbol gamma. Similarly, if this antibody were lambda gamma, it is the lambda that is a light chain with the constant region, the heavy chain, being IgG. Okay, to make this even a, just a bit more confusing, there are subclasses um, that can exist uh, within certain isotopes. For example, the isotope IgG has four subclasses, IgG1, IgG2, IgG3, and IgG4. And the isotope IgA has IgA1 and IgA2. Not that you have to memorize this, but it's just interesting to note. Now that we know um, a bit about antibodies, a bit about immunoglobulins, let's look at these different isotopes in a lot more detail.